Here we go. Paper Mario. Everyone's uh, favorite game of all time. If it's, if it's not your favorite, I don't think it should be here. Because this is the only game I ever play. Holy fuck, eight hours. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a long playthrough. Uh, fuck, I'm only on like chapter four and it's been eight hours. I'd be done with the game by now. So I do have the frying pan. All right. Let's, let's get out of here. And then it's like I start playing and then I realize why it's such a long playthrough. Oh yeah. There's only, there's only so much you could do when you can't spin dash and you just have to walk at the slowest movement speed. It's like, Hey Mario, we gotta save the princess. Mario just takes a casual stroll through the Mushroom Kingdom. He'll save the princess in time. Let's give him a little bit. He's in no rush. He doesn't, he doesn't... He doesn't have to save the princess. He's just... He's just doing it because he can, you know? It's his day off. Just give him some slack. Just going around. How many, how many items do I have? Uh, I actually should cook some of those up. Now, do I cook the egg into a fried egg? What the hell is that? Hang on. Chat highlight settings. Wait, what the fuck is this? Ah. Oh, yeah, no, fuck that. Turn that shit off. Uh... <laughs> that's the fucking oh okay i'm glad that like twitch realized hey the first time in chat thing kind of sucks because it points out any lurkers in chat yeah no nah, fucking turn that shit off i don't need to know if it's somebody's first time i mean unless it's your first time but no mentions uh you know i like i like actually no i don't like mentions. actually no i do like mentions i don't know I don't know why any- I'm like the only person fucking here, why would anybody want to mention? Alright, anyway. What's the minimized version? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like the minimized version. <clears throat> Mod messages? Sure, why not? Make them special. Subscriber messages? Okay, now we're getting ahead of ourselves. I don't actually think I should do that. I don't need mod messages yet. That's cool that they added that, though. Out of there. Actually, why did I even, like, highlight the mentions? The mentions are already highlighted. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, can Barry anything to say? No, she's, he's already said this before. Okay. And of course he's not going to have any to It's weird that he has different dialogue for the same NPC sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. Oh, I'm carrying too many things? Eee, fuck. The worst- actually, let's just eat a fucking item, dude. Oh, but I wanted to cook the mushroom. Oh, man. Oh, golly gee. Fine. Let's not go back. Gimbari is just along for the ride. This is the most screen time Gumbario has ever gotten, probably across every playthrough of Paper Mario ever. Cause like as soon as as soon as you get Cooper, he's tucked into your pocket, never to be seen again. Can I buy maple syrups here? Fuck no. Alright. Uh actually I'm gonna check some stuff. Cause I this stuff is still useful. Uh, I will not use the Dizzy Dial. Uh, I will not use the Volt Shroom. I... will not use the second Volt Shroom. I don't know why I have that. I want to cook the apple. Keep the Ultra Shroom. I want to cook the mushroom. Um, I know you can do something funky with, like, the Thunder Rages and shit. I don't know every tasty recipe. That's something that's lost to me. I don't know why I never did it. But I never, um... I never got all the tasty recipes. I want to go back and, uh, there's, there's, a few, there's a few things I want to grab real fast. Oh, actually, I don't have the cookbook yet. Fuck. I was going to make some, uh, 
honey shrooms. But uh, that, that'll happen in about, about uh, fucking 20 minutes. Oh, there's something I need to buy real fast. Fuck. I just realized what I had to do in order to, in order to get it. Okay. Alright, hold on. It's a, it's a worthwhile item that I think I'm going to need in this chapter. Because I'm, uh... I beat Anti-Guy. But I don't find myself confident enough to fight uh, the next guy. What's his name? I don't fucking know. Like, Anti-Light Guy? I don't actually know his real name. I don't know why I'm blanking on that. I want to get a life stream. Even if I don't use it, I need it to cheat death later in the game anyway. Something I'm dreading is, um, is Lava Piranha, because I have never done that fight legit, and I think I'm gonna have to. How the fuck do you even do it legit? Wait a minute, um, do I have the calculator? I don't think I do yet. Oh my god, I do. Holy shit. Never mind, put the put the live stream on hold. We got something important here. Oh, fucking yeah, you you don't want the calculator, you're a child. There you go, take this big old fucking calculator. Oh yes, a badge I'll never use. Alright, let me go. Let me fucking Hold on. He's gotta open up shop. Hang on. I don't know if it's more optimal. Actually, no, it's probably faster to go this way. Hold on, I need to go grab the cake as well. Holy shit. I actually should pick up some spaghetti and dry dry uh, desert. It's cheap, turns into a good item. What does it? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself. I wonder if you can cook the dried shroom into a into a shroom meal. All right. Oh, he's got it! Oh my god, he's got it! Oh, it's a hundred coins though. Holy fuck! That's a lot of money. That's a lot of moolah. Uh, it's two BP as well. You fuck. Oh, don't make me. Don't make me. Fuck. Alright. Alright, I don't- I don't need Quake Hammer. <laughs> oh, I kinda- I kinda need- I kinda need Quake Hammer a little bit, though. I can't kill fire enemies. I can't kill the fire- I need fucking, um... I need ice proof. Or ice power. Oh, man. How many- how many more fucking star points do I need? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, and I can't run away from them. Or, easily. Oh, fuck. Uh... You really, really didn't really think this one through. Okay, well, actually, not. Nah. With group focus, I should just be able to spam star power. When I say that, I mean, like, spam it more reliably than not spamming it at all. <laughs> so... That's how I'll deal with the fire guys. I was gonna go to Brew's Mansion and check how much the uh, the live stream is, but I don't think I can actually afford it now. Oh, oh lord! So an item I need to, or another badge I need to buy from here is multi bounce because uh, that's my answer to Lava Piranha to use multi bounce and ice power. It's the only like theoretical AOE I can do with Mario. <laughs> And and knock out all the heads. Uh during phase two. Um okay, wait, well first off though. First off. Yeah. Oh, man, god damn it. I need to like check my fucking items. Okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go grab it real fast. The um the pasta that is. Yeah, because I haven't been down here. This is what I was worried about, because I need to fight the, um, the Koopas that are down there. I 
I'm starting to need a lot more BP now. That's my limiting factor. I need at least like two more levels on BP before I'm happy. And, and then I'm in a comfortable position. Can I get another one? Oh, actually, I should not. Because then I won't be able to hold the fucking cake, which I still haven't put on inventory yet. Part of me feels a little accomplished that I have tattled every single zone. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard him say the word dank before. All right. Just double checking if I actually have tattled everything. So far, yes. Until I go down that, until I go down that um spot. Oh, oh man, the jungle's gonna be a bit of a nightmare too, because there's a fucking shitload of different areas there, and I have to tattle all the Yoshi kids as well as all the Yoshis. Here's the cake. Thank you. Alright, take this dried pasta. Now, I know there's multiple different types of pastas you can make. But I hope she made lots of spaghetti. It's like a It's like a refresh, but not quite. Alright, we'll turn make this better. She'll actually make the um, Super Shroom worse, because it'll turn into this thing, unless I give her something else to go with it. And while that is pretty good still, like, it's not... I mean... The spaghetti is better! I don't know what the fuck this turns into. I think it's like a Tasty Tonic. I don't even know why I was carrying it. No, the Super Soda. Ah, uh, it's not that bad. It'll happen. It'll... Might help in chapter 5, but we'll see. And, uh, th then there's egg. An egg of unknown origin. What do you think is inside the egg? Whose egg do you think it is? Photo's egg? Yoshi's egg? Ah, uh, Yoshi's egg has spots. Alright, back we go. I have a favorable amount of attack items and healing items now. Nothing... Nothing crazy, but definitely something that'll help. You know, it's kind of, um... Natural for me to just jump everywhere now, because it's... Like, microscopically faster. <laughs> How many half A button presses does it take to beat Paper Mario? I wonder. Let me actually fucking save first. Gourmet guy is up now. Whoops. There was a there was some guy I was watching play this game that didn't know you could skip the cutscenes, and I'm like. It takes so fucking long to get from station to station if you watched every, like, train cutscene. The fact that you have to backtrack so many times as well, like, fuck, dude. Could you imagine watching every cutscene? <laughs> oh, I might just cheese the code again. The code's always the same, by the way. The, um... The code in the next area. Oh, there's fucking, there's fucking spy guys here. There's fucking spy guys. Also, Goombaria, what do you got to say? The walls here are so fancy and fun to look at. What a cool place. Goombaria, I don't think this is a good place. All right. All right. Oh, gee, the jokes. The jokes. Oh, shit. All right, get fucked. I'll have to tattle him eventually, though. I know I'm going to run into a fight with him at some point. I just don't want that to be the first one. 
Hey, I've never done this before. That's Gourmet Guy. Wow, he's huge. Does this guy ever stop eating? He looks like he'd eat until his stomach blew up. That's a, that's a nice thing to say, isn't it, Mario? God, he's gonna fucking explode! Look, there are moving panels on the walls, and even a railroad crossing. Oh, what a fun room! Well, I wish I could play here! Again, I don't know if you'd... I don't know if you want that game, Mario. This is a very cursed place. Oh, I almost gave him my fucking super soda. Alright. The big chungus is happy. Get him out of here. Lip smacking good. Where are his lips? Or is it just a phrase? Oh, yeah, it's finger licking good, mate. Fuck you, cunt. You like your bloody KFC, mate? Finger licking good. Alright. Oh, he's, he's distracted. Oh, oh no! There's the fire guy I was worried about. Alright, well. At, at least he can do this now. Thank God. This is a pyro guy. But, oh, I thought they were fire guys. Pyro guys are on fire. So it, so any contact with them will cause damage. Max HP is 7. Attack power 4. Defense power 0. They're tough opponents. Mainly because their attack power is so high. Any attacks that involve water or snow are our best bet. Because, well, you know... Uh, what? What do I know? Kambari, wh wh what do I know? It's like, <laughs> I don't know, Mario, you tell me. What do you know? It's like that... That they're good against fire? Well, we! What do you know? They're good against fire. I'm getting close to that sweet, sweet BP. There's another fire guy up ahead, though, unfortunately, so this could be fucked. I do have a Thunder Rage, but I have no way to kill him afterwards. Probably just better off double focusing. Oh, he's distracted. Fucking get past him. Alright. Oh, what a chode. There's this guy, though. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, God, he's so fast. He's so fast. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's multiple fire guys? Oh, fuck. Uh, you know what would be really cool? If, um... Th wait, wait, this does six damage, doesn't it? Because, oh, man, that sucks. That's even worse. Or does it do eight damage? Does it do double damage? Fuck, I don't know. It does do more than four. But I don't know how much more. It does do it fucking figure as much. Alright, listen, man. You just you just focus for now, alright? Yeah, meditate. Think about your life choices. Think about where we've been, Gumbario. Oh boy. That's okay, they're all dying. I need to press it way faster than that. I kind of worked out a little bit. This is why I have Zap Tap on as well, because I know, like, there's going to be situations where I can't do enough damage and Gumbario can't, you know, exist. Have I, I've titled this area, yeah? Pink Station, it's Pink Station. There's a switch to change the tracks. Well, I have to admit, this toy box is pretty, pretty cool place. If I told Gumbario about this, well, I'm sure she would be jealous. Anything to say about the switch? No. There's a hidden item in the top right, I believe. It's like somewhere around here. There it is. Oh, that's useful. Thank you, randomizer.
<sighs> that Dizzy guy is still here. Oh, he's distracted again. Alright. Isn't there something here? Yeah. Ah, oh, well. I'm not gonna use that. Alright, as much as I want to grab it. Oh, but it'll be super effective against the shy guys. Will it? Will it really? The only thing I've seen work is like sleep against Kenzie Cooper. It's the only thing like I know guaranteed like going into that fight. Oh yeah, fucking Kenzie Cooper's gonna eat shit as long as I fucking bring a sleep item. Everything else in the game though, I don't know. It's all up in the air. It's not like I have a bestiary next to me. Following me around, telling me what's super effective against all the goddamn monsters. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Alright, but... I need to heal up. I think the next area has a... No, it doesn't. The next area is just full of the fucking... Oh, but I can just skip right to the... Never mind. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'd like to go to Green Station, mate. I want to know what Goombario has to say about how cool this place is. How he fucking loves it. Because he's a fucking kid. Ah, fuck. I didn't skip the cutscene. I was just holding B like an idiot. Alright. Green Station. Hi! It's Green Station. This track takes us all to all the stations. Boy, if we could go anywhere just by pushing a button, traveling would be a dream, don't you think? Well, technically I'm pushing multiple buttons right now. Um, he's gonna say the same shit for this toad, isn't he? He's an employee of the toad box t station. The employees drive the trains from one station to another and announce their destinations. Don't you think he looks a little... Oh, don't you think he looks like the station masters at Toad Town at Mount Rugged Stations? I mean, like, they have a fucking uniform, Kibari. It's a job. Do you think they enjoy it? It's like, wow, you look like another station attendant. And of course he does. Because he's employed by the same company. Is that the right one? Fuck, I hope so. Yeah. Easy. Oh, so much for farming experience. I thought there was something over here. Huh. Oh well. Uh, the point of doing that is to go get the heal. Because <laughs> then I can just come back and get what? Or wait, no, what's in the next area? What is here then? Here's just like the secret code or whatever. What was happening with Mario there? He was like freaking out. Alright, what do you guys say about red station though? That's a red station. First blue, then pink, then green, and finally red. It's a pretty cute well, it's a pretty cute touch, naming stations after colours. By the looks of this place, I'd say that shy guys like cuteness. They even look like cute kids. Alright, I don't know if I want to get too into that lore. Alright. It's gonna... Gonna leave that one there, Gimbari. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go further on that one. They're like the fucking... Empty, soulless kids that have like, fucking made their own toy box. They, they've... They're mushrooms that have died as children and... Dawned a mask of their sadness. And continue to try and be happy. Alright, I'm just gonna move on. Hang on, let me let me go back. I wanna hear what he has to say about the fucking slot machine. What's an employee of Tide Box Station? Doesn't he look like the other station attendant? Wish they gave the um the employees a little more uh a little more flavor filled dialogue than just like, oh he's another fucking employee. That's a little rude. 
And Gambari, what if you were working here? How would you feel? You'd probably hate it. Like, just sitting here waiting? Do you even get paid? Who pays you? The Mushroom Kingdom? Their government? Peach? I feel like Peach is just a figurehead for the Toad government. Like, they have, like... Like, they don't care. Like, she's just a puppet. Somebody told me the world was gonna... Bo can easily avoid all kinds of enemy attacks. What a cool skill. I wish I had that kind of useful talent. Uh, ironically, I do have to use Bo here. <laughs> also, holy shit, he actually said something useful. Holy fuck. Because I remember as a kid, I was like stuck here forever because I didn't realize um, Bo could fucking like, you know, not only make you intangible, but make you go through fucking solid objects and shit. I can't believe he, he said something useful. <laughs> rare, rare Goombario occurrence. Please tell me about this machine. Uh, yeah, it's fucking quoting Smash Mouth some more. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I do need to fight one of those though. Ah shit. Well, alright. Here we go. I don't want them to have hammers. That's like the worst. Oh, I haven't even, like, titled the life guy yet. Oh, man. Okay. Give me, give me a minute. I need him to change. I need him to change. I don't think they can disable star power, but, like, it would be very upsetting if they did. I don't mind if they just keep shooting me, though. That's whatever. Alright, but yeah, I need to focus. I need to use Kimbario. This is the spy guy. Spy guys look like they're ready for war in their spiffy camouflage gear. What kind of war do you ask? Why, the Great Mushroom War of 87. They change their weapons each time they're attacked. You'd best try and avoid their hammer attack. Every time you're hit by it, you'll lose one of your commands. Explanation point. Fuck. Wouldn't want to lose that one, would you, Mario? I'll title the other guy and then Star Storm. Is he gonna heal or is he gonna attack? He's gonna heal. That's fair. This is a Medi Guy. Medi Guys are the emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. Emergency? Oh, I guess, yeah. Probably do have an ER, yeah. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. We best hurry up and take them out and the, uh, take them out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing up all the damage we do. Was, are these, like, shy guys preparing for war? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Back up, back up. Is this, like, is this Toy Box? Like some kind of like military base? I mean, think about it. There's like a general guy, right? Why the fuck would they need like an army officer and like emergency services and like a medic and like a fucking and, and fucking camouflage like war recruits? Like what the fuck? I'm gonna try and take over the Mushroom Kingdom? What the fuck? Does this have to do with, like, who built the Koopa Bros Fortress? I still don't know who built the Koopa Bros Fortress. Like, allegedly. Alright. Actually, no. Even then, like, they, don't, they, still don't, they still don't fucking say. They said the Nomadamice. 
were the ones that made the fucking dry dry ruins. So that 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 checks out. Still don't understand Toot and Koopa's connection though to everything. It's like a It's like I'm trying to draw a web. A web of like Pepe Silvia. Ah yeah, the, the dictionary, fuck yeah. Does he say anything about an open chest? It's a treasure chest. It looks like it's empty though. Some fuckhead must have took the items in it. Oh. Sorry, Maria. Didn't see us didn't see us standing there. I'll do it once, just for the fuck of it. All right, well, fucking, I'm out of here. Nothing like chance time. I didn't realize you get such a speed boost from like jumping off the fucking conveyor belt. I guess because I'm so used to spin dashing along that shit. Alright, back to Red Station. Let's fucking, let's do this. I think, considering I'm so close to the end of this chapter, I might get a little bit of the ways in to chapter 5. I don't know if I'll finish chapter 5, but at least I'll get to Raphael the Raven, see how long that takes. Alright, time for the, uh, time for the hard shit. It would be nice, it would be nice to have some level of, uh, star power during this, but oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Uh, so Mario has to do this fight by himself. Pretty much, because... Beca because why? Because Gimbari doesn't have multi-bunk yet. So I can only get a max of two hits on the land. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna actually suck. The walls here are made of gigantic colored blocks. Oh, you say gigantic? No, 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 you remember Gigantamax, yeah? From, from Pokemon Sword and... whatever. Anyway, luckily there also seem to be several elevators. What do you think we'll see if we ride them? I say we find out. I say we put on our little detective caps, Mario, and we check out what these elevators have to offer. What, what secrets could they be hiding? Because there's only one way. Mario, where are you going? Mario! Well, I am back. Mario, don't leave me like that again. I, 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 said, I said we should check them out together. Oh, fuck me. All right, well, it doesn't matter. There's a fire guy over here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. There's a badge in the middle of that. I think it's deep focus. Ah, shit. You know, I'm really feeling like I just don't want to, you know? I just don't want to. The biggest issue right here is the, uh, the spy guy in the middle. Okay, I say he's the biggest issue, but fucking the fire guy is too. Like, I can't do any damage to him. That actually kind of sucked. Ugh, Mario's like, fuck this shit. I can't believe it. It's fucking unbelievable. It's like this fucking potato-looking mushroom cunt. And he's fucking following me around everywhere. It's unbelievable. Wow. That, uh, wasn't really what I had in mind. Oh my god, fuck it, fuck it. 
fucking finally. And now because of that, I need to fucking just whatever. Just 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 focus. You know, fuck it. This actually kind of works out a little bit because I do need to build up my uh my star meter. I'm gonna go into the fight with a little less health than I'd like, but that's okay. Oh no, I won't, cause I'll level up. Oh, that actually um, that was a pretty well timed level up. All right, so I needed this because I actually don't have any fucking damaging moves right now. <laughs> oh no, I do have power bounce on. Never mind. Um. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I need... I need this, please. <laughs> Actually, no I don't, because this is like the fucking end of the game, and like, there's no more fire guys. Like, that was the last one. Alright. Not useful, not useful. This is pretty useful. Now... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need both of these. I'm gonna need all three of these at some point. Fuck, alright, hold on. Yeah, boy, hammer throw! Power Bounce would also be really nice, too. I'm really- I haven't actually ever used Power Bounce, so I'm probably gonna be shit at it, but... I think better late than never to actually learn how to fucking use the goddamn badge. Oh, throwing feeling fine, it'll help out the most right now. Hang on. There it is. Note the sprite for that deep focus badge. It's different than the one in Peach's Castle. During the randomizer, I'm surprised I still didn't, like, change the, the badge sprite. Like, it's still... Like, it's still the beta sprite, so you can kind of tell which one was the one from Peach's Castle. Um... If you, like, use lightning the lantern. I wonder if that lights it up like better, faster, stronger, harder. I don't know. There's a good chance I can die in this fight. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? Note to self, title the lantern before smacking it. Note to self, title the room before smacking it too. Wow, this is so much harder to see when it's, uh, not an emulator. I need to tattle him first. Fuck. Ow, my fucking god. Yep. That's what I wanted to do, but... A little too late for that, he's gonna blow the fucking thing out again. Yep. Why is the- the light looks so different. King did it again. I absolutely did it again. And then I can do I can do it with Goombaria, but with Mario. What the fuck? And he fucking took out Goombaria. You fuck. Alright, let me just get started. He's got like 40 health, so like he's not gonna die in two hits. Alright, well fucking Goombaria's gonna get up by the next one. All right, maybe I can tattle him now. This is a big lantern ghost. Oh, that's his name. He's a, he's a lantern ghost, right? He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Wait, I thought he just wore a sheet. Your friends, like <laughs> me, will also be damaged when he does hit the flash attack. <laughs> your friends, I'm your only friend, right, Mario? <laughs> right? The flash attack's power is two. That's where he lifts up his, uh, his sheet and he flashes us. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter. Then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right on the head. You use that. If you use a hammer, does that, like, light it up? I thought it was based on hits. I thought, like, the more hits you do on the lantern, lights it up fast. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. All 
Alright, I can do this fight properly now. I just have to get that title out of the way. Alright, perfect. Yo, easy fight. Not, not even worried. Surf, welcome to the stream as well. Surf, there actually is one, one, ah, oh, fuck. There actually is one sound command currently. It is, it is the explanation point, hey. Although it does have a, it does have a considerable cooldown, but it is like a proper sound command. Eventually I'll probably add more using, using the same method. I'll slowly get them all back. Okay. Now, very important to- wait, it's like pitch black, you can't even fucking see shit. Why, why don't let me, Mr. Place? Uh, I do believe it's dark. Is there a light switch in this place? I can't see anything at all. Say, this is the lantern that belongs to the big lantern ghost. There's something inside. Do you think it'll come out if we broke it? Welcome, Barrio. How do we break it? I like this little image. <laughs> what do you think's in there, Barrio? What do you think? I'm trying to look and I don't even see it. It's so bright. A newborn baby son has appeared. I, I don't... So, for the longest time, that, that blue thing... I figured is a... Uh, oh my god, I can't fucking see. Um, I, I figured that blue thing was like a, a nose. Yeah? But is it a nose or is it supposed to be a pacifier? I still think it's a nose, right? But but it could also be a pacifier. Like I'm also I'm also unsure on that. All right, well, what you've had your moment of spotlight. It's time for everybody's favorite character, the guy who loves elevators. Oh shit, he got on it. Oh Mario, I'm going so high. Oh, I got on this one too. Alright, just, uh, just wait. Slowly walk our way back. Well, Mario, wait for me. Okay, I'll, I'll get on it the next time we go around. Oh, well, I made it on this one. Alright. Now, time for the boss. This is, this is an interesting chapter, by the way. There's a lot of backtracking and fucking coming back here over and over again. But then you just go right from, like, mid-boss to boss, like, instantly. Like, there's... Like, the, the chapter just suddenly is over. Wait, no, I think there's more shit. I think I need uh, Bombette first before I use Bot. And I think there's an enemy, too. Yeah, Bombette first, yeah. Pretty good. Wow, just like a real toy box. Look, there are building blocks lying around everywhere. That one says O-N. On. What do you think it means, Mario? On. One. What do you think it refers to some kind of on switch? Maybe like a, like a fuse? For a bomb, maybe? I do, I do want that shooting star. Oh yes, the, the comedic relief shy guy. Apparently these shy guys are all children.
not too sure where it is, but I think I need Cooper to, like, actually get it. And I don't even know if I can hold it. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what I expected. Alright, fucking let's go. Oh, easy. Wait, why do they give you a sleepy sheep? There must be a reason for the sleepy sheep. Hold on, before that. It's really dark in here. I can't see a thing. I feel like somebody would be right next to me, and I wouldn't even know it. Yikes! Who's this hairy mustachioed man? I've never seen him in my life! Get away from me, mystery man! <laughs> like Mario! Don't you ever get the feeling you're standing next to some Italian plumber? I don't want to enter the fight with what? That'd be pretty embarrassing. Oh, I came all right. Oh, I came. But that aside, we've arrived. There's gonna be a lot of tattling in this fucking battle, isn't there? All right, Kimbaria. This is the Shy Squad. It'll attack us with all its members at once. Uh, you know how I'm referring to it as like a unity of people as opposed to just like the, the, the fucking people itself? The number of times we're attacked will equal the number of Shy Guys in the squad. Its attack, its attack power is huge, but there are many guys, but it jumps for each one that falls. Let's use an attack that does tons of damage so we can decrease their numbers and increase our chances. Well, Mario, best I got is uh, one of these. About all I can do. Oh, wow. Wow, that's fucking broken. <laughs> the amount of times that has procced since putting it on is absolutely insane and totally uncalled for. Mercy! But I'm bringing the big guns! Oh! Was that always supposed to be shining like that? Wait, whoa, 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 back the fuck up. Why doesn't that happen on an emulator? Is, whoa, whoa, since when does it do that? I've like never seen it do that before. What the fuck? I don't remember the light actually being like that. Can I break that without what? Fuck, I actually, I don't... Man, this is going to be a first. I've never done this fight without what, by the way. This is, this is Stilt Guy. Yes, as the name suggests, Stilt Guys are shy guys on stilts. Well done, Brainiac. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me, but when you really think about it, consider all the nitty-gritty details about, like, what's considered a stilt and how shy guys are able to stand on stilts, man, it really brings the whole name together, doesn't it? Shy guys on stilts. Stilt guys. Went a little off the rails there. If you attack them by shaking the ground, they'll fall off their stilts and become normal shy guys. Normal shy guys that don't use stilts aren't called stilt guys anymore. They're called shy guys. This has been your info of the day. Listen, I can't, I can't be fucked. This is the only phase I can skip just by doing this. Because the other ones I think have like 10 health each. that shy guy doing in there. Well, I was general guy slightly embarrassed that there was one in there. 
All right. Well, back to tattling. There's the shy stack. Wow. This pile is an incredible sense of balance. Look at that stack. Wow. Its attack power equals the number of guys at the stack. It'll be four if there are four shy guys stacked up. If you have the spin hammer ability, you can knock them off one by one. So, A, never knew that. Never ever knew that. I wonder if that's the same for pokies as well. B, I'm surprised he's referencing a badge that you don't get unless you fucking buy it from the shop. Obviously, their attack power decreases when there are fewer of them in the stack. Doesn't need a rocket size to rocket size just to figure that one out, Mario. It's like fucking pokies, mate. Uh, I'm actually gonna just use one of. Well, uh, I'll use this so then um, Gambario can actually do something. Note how this Starstorm comes from the other side. Kind of weird. It is also weaker though, I guess. So. Man, that one came out pretty fast. Wasn't expecting that. He's at a loss for words. He's got nothing to say. All right, here we go. So, uh, test number one. Can I damage this thing? Yes. Thank God. I'm gonna have to. This is General Guy in his tank. The tank seems to be dangerous, even though it's a toy. Not only does General does the General give commands from the tank, but he also throws bombs and uses electric attacks. The power of his electric attack is five. Your party members take two damage points, so defend yourself carefully. He'll lose the electric attack if we break the light bulb. Normally, fighting styles seem ineffective because the tank is well fortified. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna have to heal on the next turn. I don't think he ever replaces that. Oh, Jesus. Hmm, my setup's gonna heal the next turn. I'm just curious if I can jump on this guy. If I can't, we're gonna have some serious problems. Okay. I always assumed that the top of the tank was a spike because of, you know, obvious th the way it looks. So I never actually tried. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> like, these are very, very similar items. Um. I'm probably going to eat both, honestly. Well, here we go. The reason I'm charging is because he's got one defense, so Gambario only does like two damage. And I want him to do a little more than two damage, please. So technically, because of that charge, he would do six damage as opposed to two damage. But I have to give up a turn. So this is probably one of those situations where charging is very useful because of the defense. It only comes into play when there's like defense on the field. Because um, Gambario, again, if I attacked twice, he would have done four damage. Because I charged? Well, actually... Yeah, no, because... Now it would be six as opposed to four over over the course of two turns. So I might just keep stacking charge until I can just one-shot him. Note that his damage is six right now. Very important. Uh, oh yeah, so I was going to use the other one. Uh, damage goes from six to ten. Wait, is that right? Pretty sure that's right. Yeah, it goes from 6 to 10. Uh, can I can I use one more thing? I just, I just feel unsafe. Uh, 
Uh, 10, 10 to what, 14 now? Yeah, it's like 14 divided by two. Fourteen to eighteen. Uh, ah, Super Zoda. Wait, he's on. He's on eighteen. Yeah, one more, and then I can just one shot him. Because um, yeah, eighteen to eighteen to twenty-two. That's it. Go get him. Oh, that feel when you miscalculate the maths. Oh, let me just fucking finish that off. Sorry, Gambario. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, he had two defense, not one defense. That's, that's where I fucking fucked up. So Gumbario went from doing like zero damage to being able to do four damage on that first turn, on that for the first two turns. Yeah, it would have been zero zero versus like, yeah, okay, no, that that was the right thing to do. See, Gumbario is not that bad. I mean, he's really fucking dog shit, but like, he's not that bad. This is quite an open space. It kind of resembles a toy arena, don't you think? Maybe they had like a toy coliseum, toy battles, a toy, toy Roman empire. Remember those shy guys we fought here? They were tough. Of course. Yeah, that was like 10 seconds ago, Mario. You remember that? Of course, they weren't as tough as us and we're tough as nails. Better watch out for that hammer though. Hot damn. What does Peach have to do now? Peach has to bake a cake. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, yes, the best Peach cutscene ever. I don't know how to feel about this Peach cutscene. It's like... I just wish it was a little more interesting. I mean, well, the first time round, yeah, it's pretty interesting. But, like, they have all this other crap. Like, I wish you could make an alternative cake that also suffices. Because, like, they have so many other ingredients that actually do affect the look of the cake. And I was I'm wondering if, like, if you could use... Oh, man, you know, it's a slow playthrough. I might as well just... Or I'll just, you know, fucking do it, you know? Like, why not? Alright, well, hold on, fucking hang on, hang on a second here. I don't know. This is this is a playthrough for things that I've never done before, and I might as well do something I've never done before. Wrong spot. Wait, and actually there's something I want to put in there. So I could have gotten this uh, two chapters ago, I believe. Could I have? After, uh, I think after chapter two, I could have got it. Yeah, when you go to learn about Top of Blah Blah, that's when you could have got it. Oh, could, could, could have get it? What the fuck is wrong with me? That's when I could have gotten it. It's also really weird to note that Peach moves faster than Mario, by the way. Very jarring. Very, very jarring. <laughs> like, Peach moves at Mario's speed if Mario was jumping with Slogo. <laughs> oh, I, I guess that's technically Mario's run speed. I wish I could press down on the D-pad to, like, 
down to the C stick to like tattle with uh with Twink. I've also never really explored this section. I think there's a toad here. Not in here, but there's a toad somewhere. Pedro, gotta bake a cake. The the bestest cake you can ever think. Alright. <laughs> ah, yes. Special in quotation marks. I'm really gonna fuck this one up on purpose. Sugar and eggs. Hmm. Sugar and eggs. Alright. Got some sugar. And eggs. Alright, I have placed them into the bowl. Yep. Now, what do we got? Mix and whip the ingredients. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me, let me just double check. What, what are these? Oh, well, hang on. I can't check them right now. Fuck. What's the point of, like, the flour and things, then? I forgot. Oh, everything else is going to be perfect, but the ingredients are fucking definitely not going to be. Because I feel like you should be allowed to sneak other random shit into the fucking... Into the ingredient list. Flour and butter into the bowl. Alright. Hmm. What was this stuff again? Ah, yes. Alright. Ordinary water. This is the best flavorful ingredient. Alright, so here's the flour. Yep. Yeah. Gonna need that. And then, uh... And the butter. Yep. Just making sure I get a whole shitload of that butter and put it in. Wonderful. Don't try this at home. I have a disclaimer for that. Don't make a fucking detergent cake. Kick for 30 seconds. Oh, this will be piss easy. ready. What a wonderful cake. Yep. I mean, it seemed to turn out okay despite having no sugar or uh, butter, but whatever. With cream and strawberries, you say? Cream and strawberries. What's the milk for? Like, Twink, I want to make something else. Well, here's the cream. Oof. Strawberries. Ah, yes. I think it looks great. Yep. What do you think, Twink? I think it turned out pretty good. It looks alright. Looks edible. I think it's pretty good. Imagine if all you have to get right is just the fucking mixing and the baking. What do you think, Gourmet Guy? It's a special cake, alright? Unbelievable. 
that monstrosity. Oh, man. God damn it, gourmet guy. I don't believe you. Okay, Princess Peach, this time we're gonna make a delicious cake, alright? <laughs> I just like... I just want to imagine, like, do you think... Hang on, let me look at the sugar and eggs first before I start talking shit. Um... Like, let's say Peach puts her heart and soul into a cake, and Gourmet Guy, like, fucking hates it. Like, it's not to Gourmet Guy's standards. And so Peach goes back and tries again, and tries again, and tries again, and, like, days go by, weeks go by. And, like, she gets so fed up on trying to make the perfect cake that she just can't handle it anymore and goes insane. All from this one instance. Granted, we could sit here for like seven and a half years and bake a cake. But I don't think I want to do that. But I've heard it's perfectly acceptable. Did it go well? It went better than expected. Flour and butter. Like, again... They have so many cool ingredients here that don't get used, and I just wish, like, you know, they they get used. Like, I want, like, an alternative cake, you know? Otherwise, what the fuck is the point? Like, who's intentionally gonna fuck it up? Of course, me. Yeah, obviously. But, like, what's the point of, like, trying something then? Also, could you imagine if uh, Twink was a little more, like, accurate with his ingredients? It's just like, ah, you know, some amount of butter. Just put some milk in there, we'll see. What if I made a real cake? What if I used, like, a pinch of salt, some fucking, like, milk? I'm surprised it doesn't have milk in it, though. Like, for real. Not even, like, a little bit. Can't redo this section. All right. Almost there. Just a couple more seconds. Yeah, that's a really quick, like, 30 seconds. Imagine this is where I, like, fuck it up. I'm like, alright, I'll grab the detergent now. Here we go. Throw that fucking detergent on. It's like, Peach, why'd you grab the cream? You're supposed to grab the water. Twink, it looks the fucking goddamn same. I also wish, like, let's say you fuck up the cake, like, five or six times. I think Gourmet Guy would just be like, alright, you know what, Mario's hiding out in the lava lava base. Fucking, let's go. Alright, just send him there. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. You took hours down there, Peach. You took seven and a half years. What a surprise, he thinks it's okay. Shocking. Man, if I could have that gourmet guy running around the screen as like a as like a fucking green screen effect, oh, I'd love that.
It is interesting that, um... Peach has a has like a personality trait in this game where she constantly keeps escaping from Bowser like over and over again despite getting like brought back to her room. And I like that they address this in um this is probably the only good thing to come from Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, but it's that. It's that Paper Peach knows how to escape. She's able to escape. Regular Peach sucks shit. Cause they're like they're like kidnapped, and it's like, well shit, I guess we're I guess we're done for now, Paper Peach. And it's like, well, Paper Peach just walks out of the walks out of the cage, and it's like, well, I, I guess not. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's next? I guess we're just going off to Mount Lava Lava. All right. Everyone here's what have been titled. Um. Oh, actually, hold the fucking phone. I don't know how to get him to do the thing. Unless, has he already done the thing and I just didn't realize? No. Alright. God, the, the wet ambient noises. So, so moist. I wonder how they got these sound effects. So they just they just have like a bucket and they're just splashing water around. Ah, it's your boy. He's the archaeologist Colorado. He's famous as both a scholar and an explorer. Unfortunately, he's also renowned for his carelessness. He's wild about treasures and ancient secrets. So, uh, yeah, he's always so wild about them, so he's always taking off around the world with some adventure. I have the exact same dialogue for him, even though he's in a completely different spot. But, uh. What about now? Okay. Uh, I guess Colorado tells you about it, but like... I was like, why doesn't Gambario say anything? He's- Gambario's the fucking tutorial character, why isn't he like, Hi Mario, Mama also does a hammer around here. He gads! It's a giant tuna! Holy guacamole! No, 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 no! Some folk are calling it a tuna! But it's obviously a whale. Pretty huge, isn't it? I wonder how many Goombas would fit inside one whale. Only one way to find out. Better get this Goomba inside this whale right now. He may look scary, being so big, but his eyes seem kind. How many Goombas does it take to fill a whale? Let's find out. Um, yeah, I have to use... I have to use what here, sadly. Not for the fight, but like, in order to start the fight. Whoa, 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 hold the fucking phone. Hang on a second. This whale's tongue is squishy. It makes... It makes it hard to walk. I thought he said he makes me hard. It makes it hard to walk. It's also... It's also kind of dark. Don't you think? It's a little dark. It's completely dark! I can't see a thing. Mario, what's up ahead? Mario, I'm gonna bump into something! You know, being inside a whale's belly is gross. Damp, squishy, could've used another D word there. Let's never do this again! Never again. Never ever again. Until Thousand Year Door. Who dat? Who, who is that? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, I fucking need that, well, actually, oh, man, is there another way I can hit him? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 let's see, it would take two turns to charge up one star power to use, oh, man, uh, I can't get him off the ceiling, because he's just gonna, how the fuck do you do this fight without... 
Without Campario? I mean, no, without what, I should say. Or, or Paracarry. Because they both obviously hit him while he's in the air. Without the need for uh, Quake Hammer or anything. How in the fuck? Okay, actually... Yeah. It's the only way I can do damage. I have to put it on. Alright, fucking... He's not the fight and Gambari is like, Don't we have a friend that can hit him from the ceiling? Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You ain't got it. Yeah, not suboptimal not putting on quick change for this particular battle. Oh, fuck me dead. So I knew you needed what for this fight? Because like, okay, for some reason this doesn't happen on emulator and I don't know why. Huh. Can I still hit him with like... No. Because he's not targetable. I need to, I need to finish this fight. Wait, I can't tattle him then. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. I can't, I can't do this guy with Gumbario only. How the fuck do you fight him? Oh, the, de the devs of this game are cheap. They're fucking cheap. Force me to use Gumbario like this? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? There's... There's no way. Like, you have to have what out in order to be able to target him. Oh, I don't want to use what, though, because that, go, that goes against everything I've stood for this entire game. Is this where the run ends? Can I even progress the game now? Gumbario, why don't you have a fucking flashlight? Hmm. You know, actually, speaking of flashlight, the the thing on the bottom left that's like projecting all the uh all the icons. I thought that was like a movie reel when I was a kid. I'm assuming that's still what it is, like some kind of projector, like on the screen, because it's like a it's like a film. I think that's what that is. I never really considered it before, because I obviously didn't realize what the fuck was going on. I'm like, was like fucking five years old. How am I supposed to know what the hell that thing is? It looks like just a bunch of fucking circles. Um. Ah, shit. <laughs> I can... I can beat him with Gambario only. I can. I can. I just, I just figured out how I do it. I just figured it out. You're gonna fucking, you're gonna fucking hate this. You're gonna fucking hate this. This is how we do it. This is it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. This is, this is the type of shit I need. This is the Dark Souls level of combat I'm looking for. Fuck yeah. The only way to tell me to kill him with Gumbario only is to do Thorns damage. Yes. Wait, where's the fuck is your- Oh shit, I took off the fucking ability. I took off group focus like a fucking jabroni. God, god fucking damn it. Alright, alright, I'm gonna fucking... So he's got what? I think he's got 20 health. This isn't going to take that long. All right. Oh my god, I didn't even know he could do that. Let's get the fuck out of me. So how's that? How's that Gumbario only challenge going? How's it looking? Looking pretty good? Yeah, I'd say it's looking pretty good. G 
Gambario only, yeah? Shit, how'd you fight that guy in the in the fucking in the cave? Or not the cave in the whale stomach. Crazy, isn't it? I guess it's not really Gambario only anymore, is it? It's just fucking Zap Tap only. Could you imagine? Could you imagine playing the whole game with Zap Tap only? God, fuck that. I refuse to use what? I refuse. I can't. I can't let the game win. Gumbario will be the only party member I use. Nothing will stop me. This would be the only time group focus would be very, very useful. And I do, do, do not have it on. Imagine if this guy isn't programmed to die from zap tap and like... Game crashes. Like the, the devs are just checking out the studio like, Hey Jim, you think anyone's gonna use zap tap against this, this fucker? You think anyone's not going to attack him at all? Nah, someone's got to... Eventually, someone's going to have to swap to what to do damage eventually. There's no way they have enough healing to... to outlast him. Not a chance. This is fucked, by the way. I just want, just want to point that out. God damn it, that one, that one throws me off because I'm not ready for it. I keep thinking he'll do the other one and then he doesn't. This is the most riveting gameplay that this challenge has ever provided. Ah, oh, no, 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 that's the, that's the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, don't miss. Then I don't do any damage. God, imagine how much star power I'd be getting if Goombari was focusing too. How the fuck is he not dead yet? How much, how much bullshit health does he have? Well, I really like that one on No Samurai stream where he just fought in the dark in Paper Mario for hours. That's great. Quality content. Oh, speaking of, I should probably turn this into something at some point. You know, just to liven things up a little bit. You never know. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the I'm feeling the content from this one. Don't miss me. I'm getting better at blocking this guy at least. Oh, holy shit. Oh, God damn it. The dedication, though. The dedication to this particular fight. I don't know if there's a more optimal way to do this. There's no other way to provide light. Outside of like using, I can see why I've always ever used what for this fight now. It, it, it makes sense to me. Don't, don't miss. 
All missing does is give me another turn to focus. That's all it does. This is fucking stupid. This is... This is fucking stupid. <laughs> no, stop missing, please! <laughs> This is pain. This is absolute pain. It's not bad, it's just slow. <gasps> he can heal? I've never seen him do that. I've never, ever seen him do that before. What, what are the odds of him healing? What? What the fuck? That's like four turns of damage. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't know he could do that. I guess because normally you'd kill him in like fucking three turns. All right. I just want to know if I'll be able to do any true damage. That's all. Because currently he's still plus two. Like health equals question mark. Still at plus two, because he healed for four. I fucking give up, man. I fucking, I fucking give up. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do now, but now I need to do six damage. Fuck. Hang on, can I look up the chance he has to heal? Is it just a percent chance like Bowser? I'm, I'm fucking... Paper Mario 64, what even, what the fuck is this guy even called? He's like a caterpillar, isn't he? No, 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 what? Oh, that's why. Fuck, I, I thought I said Paper Mario, not Super Mario 64. What the fuck is this guy called? Hang on. Yeah, inside. I want to know what's inside the whale. Hold on. Yeah, show, show me the wiki, please. Hang on. I oh, fuzz the pee. Right. It's Also, here's this... Hang on! Oh no, he doesn't have a battle tattle because you can't... Oh, I see. He heals four health if his health is less than seven. Fuck. He also, yeah, he only has 20 health. So how... That's got to be a percent chance, though. Yeah, he doesn't have a battle title. It's impossible to title him. Because, like, 
I do. So, okay, let's say his health goes below seven. All right. Let's say it's three. All right. And he has to hit. I have to somehow. He has to not heal in those three turns. Because if he does heal in those three turns, then he goes back up above seven. And then he goes back down below seven. Then he heals again. I can't. I don't think I can kill him. Oh, he speaks with the South American accent. Oh, never knew that. I thought he was just a bloody Aussie, mate. But who dat, mate? Ah, oh, well, actually, no, I guess not. Like, with my current setup, I can theoretically infinitely battle. But there has to be another way to dodge him. Like, yeah, I could bring what out. Yeah, I could use an item or two. Yeah, alright. But, like... There's gotta be another way. In other words, okay... Because he only starts healing once he gets below seven. I just have to somehow survive seven turns without him healing. I wish I knew how much health he had at that point, but... I guess I'll keep going for now. Hang on, is this a... Is this a gif? Hold on. Hang on. Gimme, give gimme give this. God, where, did, where the fuck did it just go? Hang on, hold on. This fuck. This fuck right here. I'm sure eventually I could math to how much health he actually has. Again, he's at plus five now. Of whatever he started healing at. Plus four. Right, the fuzzer peeds also probably like, like, oh, this fucking plumber fella keeps fucking healing too. I can't fucking beat him. Plus three. So I think he's below seven now. He's at plus two, so he's definitely below seven now. Definitely below seven without a doubt. Can he only heal when he's on the ground though? So yeah. Now he's at plus one, so he's almost at what he was before, before he started healing completely. But he's also on the box now, so I don't think he's gonna fucking... I think he's gonna heal next turn. But he's at plus one of the mystery number, which is his true health. Okay. He's now at his true, his true health after all the heals, and he's on the ceiling again now. So, any damage from here on out is true damage to his base health. Plus 
which is question mark one. Qu qu question mark minus one. Question mark minus two. I think he's going to heal now. He's on the ground again. <sighs> Question mark minus three. Question mark minus three. Question mark minus four. He's getting close to seven. But he's on the box again. Let's say he has like two health now. I should have refreshed. No! All right, plus four of whatever he was just at. Plus three at whatever he just had. Plus two. This is more intense than Crystal King. Plus one. Although now he's on the ground again. Okay, back down to true damage again. He's at whatever the question mark number is. <gasps> oh my god, alright, he's dead. <laughs> it was one. It was one. The question mark was one. Alright, thank god. Mario only. <laughs> Didn't do shit. Amazing cutscene. When seen without what? Fucking unreal. I thought that was going to be impossible because he keeps fucking healing, but never mind. Never, never mind. Can I have one of these as a party member? Ah, the illusion. They, they zoomed in a little bit. <laughs> Hold on. Fascinating. What what do you think, uh Fuzzipede?
Oh, gee, I don't know, Barry. Maybe we should go the whale. Oh, I think so too, actually. Let me let me go save first, though. Oh, fuck. It's not it's not easy, you know. All right. Oh, good Mario, you're back. That fight was fucked, by the way. Um, I'd have to get the whole way to- No, there's only- there's only, um... Fuzzies. Uh, alright, I'll get to the island. That's not too bad, I'll do some tattles. That's the same dialogue, alright. Do you want to go to Lava Lava Isle? Well, no going back unless I want to fight Junior Trooper. And I certainly don't want to fight Junior Trooper. Hopefully I didn't need anything important. giant golf ball with wings so uh, oh man I actually need money though fuck I didn't oh shit shit fuck actually I have to go back I need to get multi bounce oh, fuck no 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 skip skip the skip the music I didn't think that through god damn it god god fucking damn it Cool music, though. Do you have a different dialogue now? So I'm about to call it in a tone. That's kind of weird. This is where the whale comes and goes. Riding the whale sure was fun. This is where all travelers first set foot on the beach of Lava Lava Island. Beautiful water. Deep, lush jungles, a huge volcano. There's something for everyone. Unless you're into some something weird that is on this island, like money. A heart plant. These grow only on Lava Lava Isle. When you touch one, it gently stretches out its stem to welcome you, only to bite you in the ass. If you're lucky, it'll also give you a heart when it uncoils. Nice, huh? There's a species of mean plant that imitates it, though. Is this one good or bad? Only one way to find out, right, Mario? Well, we have our answer. It's a spinning flower. It grows only on Lava Lava Island and spins constantly. If you press the Z button, broke the fourth wall there, Mario, while on the floor, flower, not the floor, but you also on the floor too, you'll spin up to the air for a while. Question, can I do this with Slogo? Yes. Yes, I can. Even though I can't spin dash. Huh. Yeah, all right. I also didn't know Gambario tells you shit like that. This is definitely the point where I stopped using Gambario completely. So. <laughs> any titles or anything from here on out is completely new to me. Does it say anything about this tree? No. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I, it's a fucking tree, Mario. What do you think it's gonna, what do you, what do you think I got for you? These beaches seem to go on forever, don't they? Well, I've never seen some of these flowers. They're sure pretty. They they are sure pretty. Is that, is that the right? They are, they sure are pretty or they are, whatever. I should look for some shells if we have some time later. I'm building a shell car. I got a scrapbook, Mario. I'm going to take flowers and shells back to Goombaria. She'll be happy and she'll be so, or she'll be jealous. Ha ha ha. 
Gubario 1, Gubario 0. Oh, I had the most amazing adventure of a lifetime. It's a bell bell plant. It grows only on Lava Lava Island and swings like chimes when you touch it. It makes a cool jiggling sound. Well, that's all it does. What were you expecting? Fascinating, isn't it, Mario? The wonders of nature. What what made this plant want to grow into a into a bell or multiple bells? Kinda weird if you ask me, Mario. I'll s actually hang on, can I uh like No. Alright, I can I guess I guess I'll help him, alright. Oh, so sorry, sorry. I didn't realize I could actually jump on him too. This is the only time I'm like eager to battle because I know they can't kill me. This is a jungle fuzzy. Jungle fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies, but they live in the jungle. So that's their name. That's why they're, uh, you know, just like stilt guys. This is a very astute name. Jungle fuzzies are from the jungle. They cling to you, suck out your HP, and add it to their own. What a sleazy move. Yeah, they don't even take out the dinner first, Mario. They won't stop clinging to you unless you tear them off with the action command. Wow, you can just fucking tear them off with the action command. Yeah, right. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them before they get the chance. Or, you know, Mario, you could just use the Zap Tap badge and then they won't be much of a problem at all, really. The first one's dividing. Are you joking? Just started. Second one's... We just... Alright. 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 Alright, well... Mario, you got an AoE attack, yeah? And one of them owie attacks? Right? No? Like every other party member has one. What do you mean you don't have one? Love this. Absolutely love this. This brings me joy. I still need uh, more BP, uh, more so than flower points right now. My health is okay. I'm, I've got a very chunky amount of health that's enough for like big fights. Yeah, you saved me, old man. I'm going over here now. Was it worth the two coins? Fuck no. Did it look cool? No. <laughs> Pointless. Absolutely point. Worthless. The ashes seem to love the beach. Just looking at those guys basking in the sun makes me very... Makes me feel very relaxed. And yet, even though I'd love to just sleep on the beach, I'm excited to move on. Let's get out of here, Mario. Nothing compares to adventure, that's for sure. Oh, boy, I just love adventure and tattling random Yoshis for no reason. A Yoshi. This Yoshi always hangs around the village entrance. Oh, boy. Quality dialogue. I, I keep thinking he's going to say something about the tree. He doesn't say shit about the tree. Chunk Quizma, what do you got for me? I need more star pieces. What color are Luigi's plants? Alright, this is a very controversial question depending if you watch the Super Show or not, but they're blue in this game. Because before he was blue with green overalls. And the Nintendo was like, we can't have that. That's fucking, who the fuck wears green overalls? It's not very iconic at all. Easy Yoshi. 
who is an old friend of the village elder. They've known each other since they were kids. I hear they pulled a prank. They pulled many, many a prank together. Ah, I was speaking in ye old English there, Mario. They must have been really close pals. They've been friends if they've been friends for so long. Kind of like me and you, Mario. We're close pals, aren't we? He's the village elder. He's very dignified. Just look at the way he sits. Doesn't he look thoughtful and perceptive? Like, he's aware of his surroundings and can do anything without lifting a finger. He's, he's quite amazing, Mario. <sighs> Sorry, Mario. I was, I was standing on the platform. Bye, Really thought he was going to say something about that statue. He might say something about the other one, because it actually needs something. Although, actually, no, I think he's just going to say, like, Oh, it's the next boss, I'll come up your head. This actually is really easy to talk to. I bet everybody likes him. He's so friendly. My Goopa once read me a book that had a Yoshi in it, but I never really thought that they existed. They're like mythical creatures, Mario. They're fucking everywhere. It's so exciting to see them. A, r a rare Yoshi sighting. Holy shit. I thought they were extinct. He's a blue... Oh, no shit. He's just hanging out here. Maybe he's a marine Yoshi. You know, because he's blue. That's profiling. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll take that. Maybe, maybe maybe I'm not completely racist, you know? Mario, please don't take that out of context. Fucking Goombario, man. Like, fuck, he's blue. I guess that means he's in the ocean. Well, fucking all right. All right. Slow down there, Goombario. Holy shit. He's a yellow Yoshi kid. Whoa! He's cheery, huh? This kid's full of pep. I was the same back in the days when I was small. How old? How old is Goombario? Like, I think we've already discussed the fact that he's different in Goomba years. But if he's the same age as like, as like a fucking Wii, like, Toad Kid, and the Toad Kid is the same age as one of these Yoshi kids, how fucking old is Goombario if he's saying that he's like this kid when he was younger? What? What? I'm still small? Well, yeah, compared to you, I guess I, I, I'm still, I thought he said I still wet the bed. I'm still wet behind the ears. That's right, I have ears. You don't think I have ears, Mario? Oh, oh, oh I, I bet I, I, he's a purple Yoshi kid. Not a care in the world. Very cute. He seems to like you, Mario. There's a real tropical resort atmosphere here, isn't there? There's a nice toad house with beach access. And you get to go to the volcano or Jade Jungle. Gumbari really fill him in with all this fucking deep lore. He's a green... He's a green Yoshi kid. He's an excitable rascal, huh? Yoshi kids get pretty big. All he wants to do is explore beyond the village. I know how he feels. I always wished for a day I could explore beyond Goomba Village. And here we are. This is probably the only time you can talk to tell Sushi, yeah? She's a cheap cheap. Her name is Sushi. She's sort of meddlesome. Meddlesome, really? At least, that's what the Yoshi kids say. According to them, she tries to control their lives, like some kind of doting mother or something. Weird, right? I think she's just trying to take care of them. But she doesn't seem to be succeeding. Probably because they're fucking rebels. And don't listen to their parents. The Yoshi kids are, are so cheerful. This red Yoshi kid, though, looks pretty mischievous. You can tell by his expression how it looks very similar to the blue Yoshi kid. They're both mischievous. In fact, every Yoshi kid is mischievous. He looks like a little scamp. I bet he gets into all sorts of trouble and doesn't regret it a bit. What? That's like me? Mario, come on. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. The words can hurt, Mario. He's a blue Yoshi kid. He, he thinks he's different from the other Yoshi kids. He's a bit of a... He's a bit out there. He's a bit different. What a cute little guy. I can see how he might get on your nerves, though. <laughs> why is... 
What, what do you mean? Why is Mario filled with hate against this one Yoshi kid just for being a little different? What? A Yoshi? I've seen pictures in books of these guys. I want to ride one on one's back. It's always been a childhood dream of mine. Well, maybe you'll get to in the sequel. Oh, wait. This Yoshi loves food like nobody's business. Uh, I guess it's none of our business, said Mario. Let's head out. I wonder what he'd do if we gave him some food made by Tasty. He'd freak out. <laughs> if only you could do that, Mario. How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked with the Chief Chief over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name's Sushi. She watches over the kids. What'd we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about her. But kids are kids. By the way, you're not like that just named Colorado or something went to the jungle alone. Hey, I smell something delicious in your pockets, Mario. Do you happen to have something made by a famous great chef? Some kind of spaghetti or cake, perhaps? Mario, I'd love to take that off your hands for a minute. It's been it's been heard of that I love food more than anyone else in the world, and I rival that of Gourmet Guy. That's what your little buddy there said, isn't it? He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. I wonder how far he got. Probably halfway there. You know, if I'd have to hazard a guess at the fact that the path fucking ends halfway. Yeah, I think he got halfway. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> this fucking section's off the rails. All right. Is he an employee? Please tell me. Here's the Yoshi kid who set up a uh, little... Wait, oh, he's a Yoshi who set up a little shop on the island. He sells, checks, and buys items. Remember, shops are different in different parts of the world. I see items at this shop that you can't get anywhere but here. Yeah, like the Super Shroom that you can get in Toad Town, or the Honey Soap that you can get in Toad Town, or the Tasty Sonic you can get in Toad Town, or like, you know, the Firefly that you can get in Toad Town, or like, well, maybe these two things that you can't get in Toad Town. If we had a live stream, that'd be pretty sweet. I would buy that right now. I had to double save just to make sure. Is there another one down here? No, I think that's, um... That's all the Yoshi kids for now. Is there anybody up here? Like, are the ravens here yet? I don't know if they are. Oh my god, they are! He's a raven! Alright, end of title. That's it. That's all you get. Ravens are short and chubby. They're pretty fluffy, too. And somewhat cuddly and soft. You know, they're actually a whole bunch of adjectives. I don't know why they said that's a raven. That's a whole bunch of things. He's a raven. He looks good in black. Can we take him with us, Mario? He doesn't want to go? What a bummer. Yeah, let's just fucking kidnap him, Mario. Let's just put him in our pockets and fuck off. That's fine, yeah? Why? He's got, he's got feelings and emotions? No. He's a raven. Ravens only say caw, unless they think they have something really important to tell you, and then they'll probably go caw caw. They only tell important stuff to people they trust. I wish they'd tell us something. They probably don't trust us at all. Maybe because we want to kidnap the other one. Kind of weird. He's a raven. Ravens are really cute. I told Cooper that, and he said I had weird taste. <laughs> Is this, is this the only, like, a bit of dialogue I've seen so far that has shown that these characters are interacting with each other? Like, they're having moments together, and, like, I just imagined fucking Goombari, like, waddling up to fucking Koopa. Like, let's say this is a fucking non-Koopa, non-Goombari playthrough, alright, and you've got Koopa with you for a majority of it. And, and Goombari, like, waddles out out of Mario's pockets and, like, talks to Koopa, like, hey, Koopa. I think ravens are cute. And Cooper's just like, you're 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 cooked, mate. You're fucked. Get away from me. What's so weird about that? Aren't they cute, Mario? Just look at them. They look like penguins. Can I not get to? Oh no, I can't get to that one. Oh well. Also, never thought about this. Does he have dialogue about the spring? That's a jump pad. On occasion... Oh. It's a jump pad. You can catch crazy air if you jump on I don't know where I got the word occasion from. 
I was like, occasionally you could probably jump on it, you know, you fuckwit. All right. If you use it right, you could reach new heights. But this is a red jump pad, in which case it'll take you to exactly the same place every time. And you have no control over it at all. So you don't have to use it right, you just have to jump on it. It's crazy, isn't it? He's the toad of the toad house. He was sent here from Princess Peach's castle. This toad house is kind of a resort hotel. The toad here seems to like his job. It's one long vacation. Actually, I will stay here. This is also one of the only buildings in the game without a wall. I think the other one's in a... Uh, in the, the fucking Star Haven area. Do I do the Yoshi section today or tomorrow? Because I'm thinking I might leave it for tomorrow. I do want to get more tattles in though. This area is fucking cooked. The entrance to the volcano is very near here. A green jungle, a massive volcano, and red hot flowing lava. What a view. It probably wouldn't look so good if the lava were coming toward us. Like, in some kind of rising fashion. Oh, I need to, like, take off, uh, Quake Hammer, by the way. I don't need it anymore. And this. Considering that didn't fucking... That whole ordeal didn't play out very well. You know, I actually... Probably should title him. This is a spear guy. Spear guys are relatives of shy guys. They live in the jungle. Except, similar to stilt guys, would you believe that they are called spear guys because they're holding some kind of uh, device in their hands? Some kind of jagged object? What would you call that thing, Mario? Some kind of stilt, maybe? Perhaps? You'll get hurt if you attack with a hammer while they're pointing the spear out at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them when the spear is pointing upwards. You see what I'm getting at here, Mario? Pay attention to the position of their spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements. After after they've thrown their spears, they become ordinary shy guys. Probably because they've lost the one thing that made them unique in the first place. Similar to how stilt guys would also return to regular shy guys when, when they lose. I don't know, that whole fucking concept has just like blown my mind by the way. Um, how Mario is just like... Yeah, they're fucking named after the thing that they're doing. Of course they are. That's just how this goes. And then they become ordinary shy guys when they no longer have that thing. So what if Gourmet Guy lost his chubbiness? Does he just become a normal shy guy? Alright, alright, we're doing this now, are we? Alright. Well, that's fine. Oh, he's chucking it. He's, he's chucking a spear. I do like that they throw the skirt like that. I think that's really cute. Oh my god. I thought I thought I was going to level up from that battle. I guess not. Miscalculated. Oh, what's this type of flower, Grimbario? It's a bulb bush. It grows only on Lava Lava Island. If you touch it, it'll give out a light for a little bit. I didn't know that. It also wiggles a, it also wiggles a little and will sometimes surprise you. Well, I doubt it would surprise me. Go on. Well, it surprised me, Mario. Well. Imagine if one of those was inside the whale and you could use it to light up the whale without needing what? And then you wouldn't have to fucking rely on a RNG to beat the fight. <laughs> um, uh, I could actually grab that and get a fucking jam and, jam and shroom. Like a shroom jelly, whatever the fuck it was. Ultra, ultra jelly. I forgot the name of the item. 
Oh shit, Mario, we've made it halfway. I'm gonna leave the jelly there because I, I don't want to use it yet. Oh man. What a what a jokester. What a what a prankster. He's just sitting there kick Wing at Mario. Now, here's what I want to know. I want to know if these guys have different dialogue now that they're like panicking. Well, firstly, okay, he doesn't say anything different about the area. This Yoshi loves food like it's nobody's business. You can tell from his expression. I wonder what he'd do if we gave him some food made by Tasty. You'd, you'd think this is the face he'd make if we gave him a mistake? Doesn't he look thoughtful and perceptive? Doesn't he? He seems to be full of thought right now. Is this the same dialogue? Yeah, same dialogue. Weird. That's so weird. Why do they fucking like... Also, I like how this is specifically a Yoshi. I mean, the other ones are also Yoshis, but that's a... It's like, it's like finding a normally colored toad. Like, that's, that's a toad. All right, before I end, I do want to get one more piece of dialogue in. Hang on. I'm just curious what he has to say. So I thought jungles were supposed to be all trees, but this one's full of water. Are all jungles like this? When you see one jungle, you see them all. It looks like we can't reach the other shore from here. We'll have to find another way. It's almost as if we're going to get some kind of way to traverse water or something. It's a symbol bush. It grows only on Lava Lava Island and has two stiff petals growing on either side. If you disturb it, the petals slam. Want to try? I dare you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry, Mario. I didn't mean for you to actually do it. What's this one called, then? Mmm, Bush. <laughs> ah, it's the form of President Bush. This bizarre creature is only found in the jungles of Lava Lava Island. It pretends to be a bush, but it's actually a hunter waiting to surprise prey. Well, I don't want to be prey, do you? I mean, I know I look like prey, Mario, but I'm not prey, I swear. He doesn't say anything about the dock? Weird. I thought he would. Fun fact, I thought this area was really cool when I was a kid because, I mean, it's, like, so different. There's so much random, unique shit for no reason, like, like little plants and stuff. That don't really do anything, but they're, li they're cool to a five-year-old, I'll tell you that. Alright, that's gonna be, uh... It got a lot done, surprisingly. Um, got a lot done. Didn't actually expect to beat the fucking, um, whatchamacallism. The Fuzzipede fight. I thought that was going to be Rip Run right there.